Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be seeing if you can figure out how the nitrogen dioxide fountain works. So first I just need some water. This is a flask of just colored water. It's just red food coloring in it. I just made it red so you can see it a little better. Now an interesting reaction happens when you put copper and nitric acid. It forms nitrogen dioxide. I used this in a previous video where I made nitrogen dioxide and then made it look black by shining a monochromatic light source on it. But watch what happens when we make nitrogen dioxide in this situation. Okay, put the copper in, then quickly put the cap on. So now the gas is bubbling out of the water. But then watch what happens. So it's bubbling out, bubbling out, and then it kind of stops and reverses. Now it's going up the tube. Kind of gets stuck there for a bit. And then it keeps going. So why is this happening? Now the water's getting sucked into the original jar. So it's filling up the first flask. Okay, so how did this happen? At first, gas was bubbling out really rapidly, but then all of a sudden it sucked it back in and kept sucking it in until it sucked the water from this jar into this one. I'll give you a hint that's not the correct full answer. If you've ever done the trick where you light a match and then stick a cup over it upside down in some water, it's not due to that effect. That happens because it's heating up the air so much, all of the hot air gets pushed out and then it suddenly gets cooled. And when the air cools down, it has a lot less volume than the really hot air. And so it creates a vacuum in there that sucks up the water. Now this happened a little bit in this case, but not that much. Let's do it again without the red this time so you can see the colors better. Keep your eye on the brown nitrogen dioxide. I'll speed it up a bit here. So now the brown gas is gone and you see a bright blue fluid in there. Before I reveal how this works, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, U-Hodler. U-Hodler is a Swiss company. It's a bridge between the conventional financial systems and the new digital economy. It's very user-friendly and has a web version and a mobile app available as well. All of your crypto assets will be protected by Ledger Vault's industry-leading security. UHODLER has savings accounts with high interest rates, no locking time, and instant withdrawals. Also, if you don't have any crypto yet, there's no worries. With one-click exchange, it allows you to convert fiat into crypto or stable coins in seconds. Also, if the volatility in the crypto market makes you a little bit nervous, remember that the trend is your friend. With multi-HODL, you can extract profit in any market condition. Also, you can use your cryptos or your NFT as collateral for crypto loans with the highest loan to value ratio, around 90%. You can get loans in Euro, US dollar, or even Bitcoins. You can withdraw instantly to your credit card or your personal bank. Now, unfortunately, UHODLER isn't available for residents of the US, sorry guys. But if you're not in the US and wanna check out UHODLER, click the link in my description. And thanks again to UHODLER for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. The way this worked, when the reaction first started, the copper reacted with the nitric oxide and sent out nitrogen dioxide gas that was bubbling through the water. But nitrogen dioxide reacts with water to make nitric acid again. So as soon as it starts bubbling out, it reacts with the water. So the gas reacting with the water reduces the volume, so it creates a vacuum in the tube that sucks up the water, and it keeps sucking it up the more water you put in there. And as soon as the water reaches here, then all the gas that was in this jar reacts with the water, and so it sucks it up even more until all the nitrogen dioxide gas has reacted with the water. Now, if you recognize the color of this nitrogen dioxide, that's because you've probably seen it before. It's usually the color that heavy smog in a city takes on. That's because there's a lot of nitrogen dioxide left over in combustion. So one of the side products of combustion engines is nitrogen oxides, and one of them is nitrogen dioxide, which is this brownish color. And it's actually very toxic. That's why I was doing it in a fume hood here. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time.